Are we rolling? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we just came back from a, I'll say, butcher called the North Town with Andrea. And Andrea says, what do you want for dinner tonight? I said, make a steak, a hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever you want to make. I, I don't get it. Make whatever. Make whatever you want to make. What do I care? I, I, I eat because my stomach says I have to eat. You know, I, I'm not a big fat pig. I eat everything. You get the, the hunger pain. Your mind says, you know, your body needs fuel. You have to eat something. So you eat. Whatever you make, I'll eat. I don't care what it is. So she says, you, you, you eat those hamburgers I get for the kids. She gets these frozen uh, hamburgers. Um, the keg hamburgers, I don't know what the hell she gets. They're, they're loaded with the maggots. I don't know what the hell she gets these hamburgers, these frozen, horrible hamburgers. I said, no, I don't want those. They're, those hamburgers are horrible. I don't want frozen hamburgers. You're at the butcher. Get fresh hamburger meat now. She said, well, I'm only going to freeze them anyway. It's going to be the same thing. I said, why is it going to be the same thing? I said, you're going to get fresh hamburger meat now. So make those hamburgers. But I'm going to put them in the freezer. They're going to still be frozen. I said, don't get hamburgers. Just don't get hamburgers. I'll eat hot dogs, hot dog steak, just don't get hamburgers. What does she buy? She buys the hamburgers. I said, why'd you buy the hamburgers? You said it's the same thing. Well, if I make it tomorrow, it's not the same thing. I said, but you said it's the same thing. If you put it in the freezer and it's frozen, it's the same thing. Yeah, but I'll make it tomorrow. It won't be frozen. Why do I have to have these conversations? Why can't it just be she buys the kids these uh, keg frozen hamburgers? Now, it's frozen food. I don't eat frozen food. Frozen food. I eat fresh food. So if she's buying frozen food for the kids, so they eat frozen food, what do I care? I don't know how long it was frozen for. I didn't like it. Why do I have to eat frozen hamburgers? If I want a fresh hamburger, go to McDonald's. If I want a fresh hamburger, I'll, I'll go to a restaurant, and uh, the, that, a restaurant that tastes good hamburgers. These frozen hamburgers, frozen for who knows how long, maybe since the Stone Age or the dinosaurs during the, the, free, the frozen age, whatever hell. I don't know how long they're frozen, but whatever the point is, I don't want those frozen hamburgers. She said, you want the hamburgers? I said, I don't, I'm not going to eat those frozen hamburgers. That's what I said. So the next part should, should say, okay, I'm going to get hamburgers here at the butcher and I'm going to make these hamburgers. And that's the whole conversation. But God, God forbid that should be the conversation. The conversation has to be, I said, I don't want those frozen hamburgers. I said, get fresh hamburgers. She said, it's still going to be frozen. All right. So if she thinks they're still going to be frozen. So if I'm wrong, that the frozen hamburgers, that the fresh hamburgers that I think is fresh, it's still going to taste like the frozen hamburgers since the dinosaurs. All right, then don't get them. I said, don't get the hamburgers. And she's correcting me, and she's telling me these hamburgers at the butcher are going to taste the same as the frozen hamburgers that I get at the kids at the supermarket at the frozen food section so you don't buy the hamburgers. So I said when she corrected me, and she said, these hamburgers that I get fresh are going to be frozen, and it's going to be the same thing, frozen hamburgers. I said, all right then don't buy the hamburgers. Don't buy the hamburgers. If it's going to taste the same way as the frozen hamburgers in the freezer, don't buy them. Isn't that easy? So what do you do? You don't buy them. You buy hot dogs. I said, buy hot dogs, buy steak. Do not buy the hamburgers. So what does she do? She buys the hamburgers. So I said, why would you buy the hamburgers? You know it's going to taste this. You told me. It's going to taste It's frozen. It's going to be the same thing. Well, not if I make it tomorrow. Well, then why wasn't that part of the conversation? Why would she, if she knew that it, was, it wasn't going to be the same thing when I said, I don't want the frozen hamburgers, they buy the kids. And I said, buy the fresh hamburgers. All she has to say is, okay, I'm going to buy the fresh hamburgers and I'm not going to freeze them and it's going to taste better than the frozen hamburgers. That's all she had to say. Instead, she says, well, it's going to be the same thing as the frozen hamburgers. I said, all right, then don't buy them. Then she buys them. I said, why'd you buy them? I said, don't buy the hamburgers. Well, I'm not going to make them tomorrow. They won't be frozen. I, I, I can't write this stuff. There is so much I can tell you that I cannot write. You know I couldn't write this. You know I didn't sit down today. Today's Canada Day. I want to relax for two minutes. And I didn't say, let's see. I want to write a blog about hamburgers today. What can I do? I don't know. Andrew and I go to the butcher shop. You know I didn't do that. You know this is an actual conversation we just had. I couldn't write this stuff. It really, I shouldn't have to do any of these blogs. It should be that simple. Dave, you're going to eat the frozen hamburgers in the freezer? I said, no, I don't like the way they taste. Go buy fresh hamburgers. Oh, the fresh hamburgers are going to be frozen too. I said, I right, don't buy the hamburgers. And that's the end of the conversation. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Instead, Dave, you're going to eat those frozen hamburgers in the freezer? I said, no, I don't like them. I don't want frozen hamburgers. Buy the fresh hamburgers. Oh, those fresh hamburgers are still going to be frozen too. It's going to be the same thing. All right, don't buy the hamburgers. All right, Dave, here are the hamburgers. 
I said, I told you don't buy the hamburgers. You told me it's going to be the same thing. Well, not if I make it tomorrow. It won't be the same thing. Go to davestvempire.com. That's the only thing I can write. That's the only thing normal in my life is davestvempire.com because at davestvempire.com, that's where you make money. I was talking to my very good friend today, Randy, who's a very successful entrepreneur. He tells me about the elevator pitch, that if you're in an elevator, you have 19 seconds to give your pitch. Uh, he said, to, I was telling that Jared's friend, uh, 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 grandmother owns a mall. And today, Jared, why don't you, I'll give you a kiosk. So you have a kiosk in a mall and sell your t-shirts. Jared said, that's great. I'm going to do it next summer. Now I'm talking to you in the summer of 2014. I heard this story yesterday about giving Jared a kiosk to sell t-shirts in a mall. He said, terrific. I'm going to do it next summer. 2015, my friend Randy said, whoever said we're going to put, who wants to put, what do you say? I, I recorded, who wants to put a deferment on being rich? Whoever said we're going to be the, something, he's so clever, this Randy. What he's saying is, why would you wait till next summer to be rich when you can be rich today? That's my mindset. But Jaron and his friends and other people have a different mindset. What, what the hell do you want? I wonder what it went. TNT, today, not tomorrow. Because otherwise, tomorrow you have to eat frozen hamburgers. Today you get to eat fresh hamburgers. Only at davestvempire.com. Go to davestvempire.com. I got the best deals and fresh hamburgers. Nothing frozen. Goodbye.